Welcome back. Okay, here we are looking at our website which looks pretty plain at the moment so we want to make it look a little bit fancier. So now it's time to upload a theme. So in your workbook I've actually given you some uh, resources or links you can go and have a look at. Um, you could even just do a search on WordPress themes. Um, good idea if you're just starting out to find one that's got a bit of support that goes with it so you can go through one of the WordPress file, WordPress ones or whatever but um, either way, if you get stuck on anything, just send a support ticket through michellegreensupport.com. Okay, this particular site I'm on page two of um, is one of the ones I've given you links to. This guy has pages and pages of themes on here. When you get down to the bottom here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, so a previous page, next page. Just keep going through the pages till you find something that you like. Um, the reason why I've chosen the one I have is because it's got a nice white background. Um, which makes it a lot easier for people to read when they're looking at your site. Okay, so we're going to click on, was that the one I was looking at? Yes it was. Okay, let's click on download and we click on save. And we find a place to save it. As I said um, in the workbook as well, make sure you save it somewhere where you'll remember where it is. I've got a themes folder and all of my themes go in there. Okay. So we save that and we go and have a look at the folder. Okay, so here we are in my folder with all of my themes and here's the one I just downloaded. Now you can see here it's got a little zipper on it. Um, the reason why it's been zipped up is because these themes consist of several little files all in sort of one and they've zipped it all in together into one to make it easy to download. Otherwise you'd be downloading, like in some cases, hundreds of separate little files, which is silly really. Okay, so we want to extract those files. So if you've got Windows XP, like I do, just right click and extract all. Um, if you don't have Windows XP and you're not sure how to um, unzip your files, just send a ticket through and we'll sort you out. Okay, um, this brings up a wizard. I just click, click clicking on next until I got to here. Just click on finish. And there's a little folder it's created. So we just go into FileZilla now and see what it's done. Okay, there it is there. So there's my green wave. Now you also see the zip file down here. Uh, we would never transfer the zipped file over only because if we did it wouldn't do anything and so it would be pointless exercise really. So in um, the right hand side here we would normally when we opened up FileZilla end up here. So we double click on public FTML then WP content. Um, to say I accidentally clicked on plugins um, I would just need to double click on this top folder here and that would move me back one. Okay, so it's like your backwards button. Um, we double click on themes. You can see there there are two there already. Now on this particular one, this is really important that you send over the correct folder. Now if I double click on that one, as you can, there's another folder there with nothing underneath it. Now if I click on it again, we should get a heap of files. Yes, we do. So just go back one by double clicking on this top one and send this folder over, not the one that you were in before. And what you do is hold your left mouse button down and drag it over to the right and just let go. And it will automatically start to transfer all of the files. And as you can see here, it's ticking over. You're probably seeing these little things ticking over here. There are all the different files that are going through. Um, and we'll just wait for that to go across and then we'll go and have a look. Alright, so this upload has happened. As you can see, it says upload successful up the top there. Um, let's go back up here. Um, you can see also down the bottom here, I know that you can't see the entire window here, but it's blank or well, it's empty. So that means that all of the files have gone over. You can see the files sitting there, quite looking quite happy there. So now we need to have a look and see what the site will look like when we upload it. Okay, so we can go and log in. Now we either log in here or type in WP admin at the top here after your URL. Okay, I'm just going to go into login. That's just me because it's there and it saves a bit of time. Okay. Let's remember our username and password. And we'll go into the WordPress dashboard. Okay, here we are. So the very first thing we need to do is click on presentation we do that and it's showing the current theme which we know is the way it's looking at the moment so we want to change it to this one here so we just click on 
this with your left mouse button and it's telling us that's our current theme. So what I would normally do is just right click here and click on open in new window and you're going to be shocked and amazed at how easy this was. How's that? Um, as you can see here there's um, what's given us a nice little header which we can change um, some link whatever that is all sorts of wonderful things so what we can do now is make this look a little bit more like what we want it to look like so that's just the beginning of uploading or customizing your theme I suppose and we've got it looking the way we want it to look now so now it's time to go through and configure WordPress so until our next video have fun